an Excel formula to send dynamic customized emails in Excel? What? Well, yes, that exists, folks. And this is very useful if you don't want to have the headache of VBA and if you want to send notifications, small reminders, etc. So let's check it out together. Let's start with our data. So I have the names, the emails, the subject. I have CC and in CC I have two emails. So you have them separated by a semicolon and you can do the same for the email. After that, I have sales and target. I'm going to calculate sales versus target first. And if you don't know the formula, it's okay. It's just to illustrate that you can do emails that are dynamic. So let's go here equal open parenthesis sales minus target divided by target press enter and let's double click so in this example the person is 45 percent above target let's continue to the body and we're gonna make a dynamic body so we're gonna go here equal double quotation i'm gonna put some text in double quotation so here we have hello and then space i want the name of the person so let's do double quotation and let's select Charlie and double quotation, comma, double quotation. Press enter. You have hello, Charlie, double click. You get the rest. Now let's continue here and let's put your performance versus target is space. And let's take the performance and let's take this 45%. Press enter. If you make this a bit bigger, you're gonna see that we get a horrible number. Imagine sending an email like this, people will laugh at you. So how can we fix it? Well, we can use a formula called text. So this is text, open parenthesis, that's my value, comma, I need the format. So here, the format will be in double quotation. I'm gonna start with a zero. A zero means that I want a number with at least one digit. So in my case, I have two digits, that's fine then dot i want one digit after the dot so i'm gonna put another zero in an example where you have 45 it will come as 45.0 percent that's fine let's put the percentage double quotation there you go now if you're a bit lost with formatting i have a video on custom formatting you can check it out you'll become a pro in this in no time let's just close parenthesis press enter now it's fine, double click and you get the body. Then we have the final name. So here I'm going to create a hyperlink. And instead of having a long hyperlink that is really disgusting, what we could do is use another name for the hyperlink. And this is what I'm going to do here. So equal if open parenthesis sales bigger or equal to target, comma, double quotation amazing. Then comma, value if false, we can do loser. Obviously, you might get fired if you do this in a professional setting, but here we can have some fun. Let's close parenthesis. That's amazing. Double click. Loser for the second one because sales is less than target. Finally, the crown jewel, which is the email. We're going to use hyperlink. Equal hyperlink. Open parenthesis. You need to put the link location. So we're going to start with double quotation. Mail to. Then column double quotation and let's select the email comma friendly name we have it here close parenthesis and now instead of having the link you get amazing click on it there you go you get the email with charlie here perfect let's come back and make it a bit more complicated after mail to whatever you want to add the subject cc etc you need to put a question mark so let's come back here and double quotation question mark. Now that we have the question mark, we can continue. So subject in my case is equal to, then you have double quotation and let's select the subject, press enter. Let's click on it. And here you go. You have Charlie and this is the subject. Perfect. Let's do now CC. So here we add another and double quotation and inside the double quotation cc equal double quotation and and you take the cc now in a case where you didn't have a subject what you do is the following you just remove all this and you have it this way so this is how it works because anything that you want to add first of all you have the question mark and then you continue the same way so let's do ctrl z 
and let's press enter and now it will work also i'm not gonna test it so i don't waste your time we're gonna continue with the body so we continue here and double quotation and body is equal to double quotation same trick let's select the body and now we are done let's try it out you click you have two you have cc performance review and you have the message that is customizable now here you want to go to the line because this is not nice so what do you do in this case let me show you a nice trick there is a special character that you can use because this is kind of html so it needs to use some special characters and the special character is i'm just gonna put it here percentage zero a what is that why is that doesn't matter just use it and you can use it multiple times for example here if i want to go to the line two times i'm just gonna add it again and press enter and now you click there you go you went to the line one time two times perfect now let's just double click and you get everything and everything is customizable if we go to 70 here he becomes a loser and your email will reflect this now i want to tell you one more thing before you go and this is very important the length of the link can be maximum 255 characters so if you have more than 255 characters total including your body etc then it's not gonna work and you will have to do it with vba i have a video on this so feel free to check it out if you want to have a proper email this methodology is good if you don't want to use vba and if you want to send a small alert a small text something like this and not a full email with details and a lot of characters